find the indicated z-score. So in this problem, we're working backwards. So basically, our graph looks like this. We have z here. And then we have a shaded blue area here. And this number that we're given here, this 0 0.2206, that's the area. So we're given the area, and we want to find the z. So since it's shaded to the left, OK? Since it's shaded to the left, we want the probability that z is less than or equal to, and we need to figure out this part here. And we know that this probability is equal to the area, right? Because probabilities are areas. So we're working backwards. So normally you plug in the number here, and it gives you the area. Now they're giving us the area, and we have to find the number. So it's actually really easy. Let me show you how to do it. So you click on Question Help. And you go to StatCrunch. And then you go to Stat Calculators Normal. So Stat Calculators Normal. And it's shaded to the left, so we leave it at less than. The mean and standard deviation are zero, because it says it in the problem. And so we have to enter the area. So you see here, we have the x that we have the z here, here it's x, same thing, p, p, we have less than or equal to, this is what we have to figure out, this blank. And so we have to enter the area in this second box. So in general, anytime you have a percentage or an area, it usually goes in the second box. Okay, it's a really good, good rule to have. Uh, so everything looks okay. We have the p, we have the p, we have the z, we have the x, less than or equal to, less than or equal to, areas in the second box. Then you hit compute. Boom, there it is. That's the answer right there. So negative 0.77. That's going to be our z-score in this problem. So notice the picture matches the picture here, right? So the, the pictures look very similar. So negative 0.77 is the number we want. I believe it's two decimals. Yep. So negative 0.77. That's it.